Popular for being an online influencer, a speaker, investor, entrepreneur, and author, Gary Vaynerchuk has held many job titles. From his early days of growing his father's wine library to a $60 million revenue-generating company, to his investments in Facebook, Twitter, and Uber, Gary V, as he is fondly called, has been able to amass a fortune of around $160 million. So, how did Gary manage to build his fortune? Stick with us to find out more. Born on November 14, 1975, Gary Vaynerchuk was raised by a mother and father who desperately wanted to escape the communist regime of the Soviet Union in Bobrusik, Russia. And as a result, his family managed to immigrate to the United States when he was just three years old. They settled in Edison, New Jersey. Gary's father worked at a small liquor store until he was able to save enough money to start a business of his own. In 1988, and after spending 10 years in the US, V's father became a partner in Shoppers Discount Liquors. He succeeded in buying his partner's share in the small business. I believe Gary learned the fundamentals of hard work and entrepreneurship from his father. Gary ran a chain of multiple lemonade stands as a young chap. One of his first attempts at business involved pulling out flowers from his neighbor's garden and selling them back to them. As a teenager, he upgraded to selling baseball cards, making thousands of dollars from his business endeavors. During an interview with The Blaze in 2014, Gary stated that his parents were unlike most immigrant parents. While parents generally pressured their children to excel in school, this wasn't the case for Gary. As a matter of fact, his parents were not bothered whether he was an A student or not. Maybe they were, but just didn't let him know it. According to Gary, he was already making around $2,000 to $3,000 weekly from his various business ventures while in middle school. And this may have been the reason why his parents weren't too worried. By the time he turned 14, his father made him work in the family business on weekends and during school holidays. It's undeniable that his stay at the wine store helped him to learn many valuable business lessons. After all, if you hang around nine broke dudes, you're bound to be the tenth. Gary confirms that he learned the importance of nurturing long-term relationships with customers. A few years later, Gary left New Jersey to enroll at Mount Ida College in Boston, Massachusetts. He earned a bachelor's degree in 1998 and immediately returned to his hometown of New Jersey to continue working in the family wine business. Upon his return, Gary decided to integrate some of the new technologies he picked up while at college, particularly his exposure to computers and the internet. He quickly realized that these were assets that could become powerful in growing his father's business. But hey, it was 1988 and email marketing wasn't a thing yet. Gary would email weekly discounts and special offers to customers as well as share his favorite wine recommendations. His expansion goal for his father's liquor store was quite modest. His plan was to open up several brick and mortar locations across the state and country. However, things took an unexpected turn when he started a website called winelibrary.com. With the new website, his goal was to increase the rate at which inventory from the wine store sold, and within five years of launching the website, he succeeded in achieving this goal. Sales increased from $3 million to $60 million a year. With a successful wine business under his belt, Gary ventured into e-commerce and social media. His rise to fame all began with a 20-minute daily YouTube show. The show, which is called Wine Library TV, began in early 2006, roughly a year after YouTube was founded. Wine Library TV gave Gary a wider platform to share his wine reviews and indirectly promote his site. With time, the show and his YouTube following grew. In 2008, he was invited by The Conan Show, and as expected, his appearance there had a snowball effect. Other prominent television shows and publications subsequently featured Gary. Their major focus was on how he used social media to grow his business and brand. And this is not a lie. Chances are that you've come across a post or an ad by Gary V. Soon after his numerous features, Gary became a very active Twitter user and has managed to build an audience of more than 1.3 million people. Although the entrepreneur is worth around $160 million or more, he still produces daily vlogs on YouTube. The only difference now is that he has a team of social media specialists, videographers, and graphic designers available to help amplify his brand on multiple social media platforms. He has succeeded in fine-tuning a content-creating machine with his vlogs, showing him in real-life settings. 
Sometimes you see him in client meetings, at other times in employee interactions, press events, or doling out financial advice. Some of his popular video content includes My Biggest Failures in Business and How to Find Your Path to Happiness. As of October 2020, Gary had 2.85 million subscribers on YouTube. Following his success and experience with social media, Gary once more shifted his focus to VaynerMedia, a digital marketing agency. Along with his brother, AJ Vaynerchuk, Gary started his marketing agency in 2009. He was eager to replicate his marketing and personal branding success in other businesses. VaynerMedia is a full-fledged global agency, and not just a side hustle. The company has had dealings with big names like PepsiCo, Chase, Toyota, Hulu, Shell, Johnson's, the NBA, and Green Mountain Coffee, just to mention a few. The agency offers services ranging from strategy to creative and influencer programs, production, and paid media. Plus, there's Vayner Mentors, a premium consulting service that targets million-dollar businesses, helping them to grow and scale. Vayner Media currently has more than 750 employees worldwide, and in 2016, the agency grossed $100 million in revenue. Furthermore, Gary does a lot of speaking engagements throughout the country every year. And he can charge as much as $100,000 for a single presentation. Gary is also a best-selling author and has published five books, including Crush It, How Great Entrepreneurs Build Their Business and Influence, and How You Can Too, Ask Gary V, Jab, 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 Right Hook, The Thank You Economy, and Crush It, Why Now Is The Time To Cash In On Your Passion. In his books, he shares a mix of personal advice and data-driven metrics. Well, that's not all. The Gary V audio experience is Gary's podcast. The podcast features a mix of hashtag AskGaryV episodes, entrepreneurial advice, keynote speeches, digital marketing and branding tips, Gary's entrepreneurial thoughts, and far side chats. To date, Gary has produced more than 300 podcast episodes. Talk about consistency. No doubt Gary has made a lot of money from his wine and social media businesses. What you may not know, though, is that Gary is also an avid investor. Some people have even called him a secret protege of Warren Buffett. And here's why. Gary is an angel investor. He bought the shares of big tech companies like Facebook, Uber, Snapchat, Twitter, and Tumblr early on. He somehow has a knack for predicting consumer behavior and his Vayner RSC investment portfolio lists almost 80 companies, including the popular digital wallet and exchange Coinbase and monthly cosmetic subscription service Birchbox. I'd have to agree though that on the surface Gary appears to be the exact opposite of the reserved and methodical Warren Buffett. But on a closer look, both investors are amongst the shrewdest value investors in the world. While Warren focuses more on stocks and bonds, Gary trades what he describes as the single most valuable asset in business, your attention. Secondly, Gary has built a solid career from identifying underpriced assets and going hard when he finds them. In his own words, I've built a career on exploiting underpriced attention. Email marketing in 97, Google AdWords in 2000, YouTube in 06, Twitter 07, Snapchat, that's my career. Besides, Gary also has an investment record that is close to the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett himself. He has consistently grown his brand by over 40% every year for the last 15 years. If there's any lesson to learn from how Gary built his business empire, it is the fact that attention is the currency of business, and more than ever, this fact is real in today's fast-paced digital space. In order to communicate, influence, and sell anything to a customer, you'll first need to grab their attention. This is why companies spend significant sums on marketing and advertising, because without grabbing the attention of your potential market, your product offering and business will ultimately fail, no matter how good they are. Put differently, attention is the gateway to getting paying clients. Just like stock, bonds and gold, attention is a key asset in today's digital economy. And guess what? The net worth of the media industry and a handful of the world's biggest tech companies, such as Google, Facebook and Instagram, are based entirely on their ability to capture, retain and monetize attention. In other words, more attention could mean more money. According to Daniel Simons, a professor of psychology, 
For the human brain, attention is a zero-sum game. If we pay more attention to one place, object or event, we necessarily pay less attention to others. When you think about it, Gary's been able to perfect his attention-grabbing game. He started using email marketing when others in the same industry were not even thinking of it. He jumped on YouTube when the platform was still fresh. He also managed to stay consistent in regularly dishing out valuable content to his audience. And best of all, he has managed to convert his expertise in the area into a money-making business. In closing, Gary Vee has made his fortune of $160 million from a number of investments and businesses. These include his wine business, early investments in tech companies, VaynerX, a media and communications holding company, Vayner Media, his advertising agency, Gallery Media Group, Pure Wow, a women's lifestyle brand, 1.37pm, a men's alternative to Pure Wow and Vayner Sports.